Hello all of you amazing viewers and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we are going to be taking an in-depth look at the best, and I mean the best of the best, text to image AIs. A lot of them are free to use, in fact most of them are free for you to use, and I'm surprised that most of these don't actually get more attention, but... Yeah, this is an up-to-date list and it is very exciting. But you all know I love to start my videos off with an interesting AI generation. And as you can see here, we're taking a look at my collection in Dolly 2. As I said in my last video, which was a really interesting video, by the way, where we took a look at an AI voice changer that can literally change your voice into celebrities' voices, I was talking about Image AI combined with Image AI, and I did a little bit more exploring with this. So this image that you're taking a look at right now is a variation by Dolly 2 of an image that was generated by Midjourney, which we will be talking about in today's video. And by the way, Midjourney is now completely free to use to the public. Anyways, this was the original image generated by Midjourney, and this was the variation we got out of Dolly. So essentially, what we're seeing happening here is Dolly is taking the sort of rough outline that Midjourney is generating and then enhancing it and giving us the full beans, so to speak. Not that Midjourney can't create incredible art on its own, but sometimes in the coherency department, Midjourney falls a bit short. Now, Midjourney says they might be updating this soon, and I actually know for a fact that they are working on more coherent models, but for the time being, you can really get that artistic taste out of Midjourney and then turn around and apply it in Dolly 2 and get extra coherency out of the same image. We can see that with this one, this was already a really good mid-journey generation, but we got a really nice Dolly 2 generation. This one was, I guess, sort of a tie. The mid-journey generation was also really quite good. This one was definitely enhancement of a cute little random creature in an alleyway. This one, it took this image of a frog. The frog's a little deformed in the mid-journey generation, and Dolly 2 understood that it was a frog, turned around and remade the image in a higher quality so this was a really good outcome really uh, nice to see now you might be wondering why wouldn't you just generate everything in dolly 2 and honestly i'm actually noticing sometimes that mid journey has an artistic taste that dolly sometimes just does not have and it, it's also something i've noticed with the colors of mid journey it uses a lot more color variety if that makes sense everything's just a little bit more in depth a little bit more artistic with mid journey so being able to carry that over from Midjourney into Dolly 2's high coherency, um, that's something really, really powerful. Anyways, yeah, just thought I would show you guys a few of those uh, various generations. I am going to be making a full video on this, but this video today is a little bit more important, so sorry for the long intro, everyone. Let's get into it. So, everybody, here we are back at the list. As you can see on today's list, we have nine, count them, nine different text-to-image AIs. Most of them we can access. In fact, all of these except for the top two are public access. Some of you might have Dolly 2 access, and I don't think any of you watching right now have access to Google Imagen or Party, but they are on the list because technically speaking, it is the best text to image and I wanted to include it. Anyways, starting from the bottom at Night Cafe, quick summary of Night Cafe. Basically, this is a VQ GAN and in my opinion, the best VQ GAN that you can uh, use. It's a uh, high coherency for the model. There's a lot of different options the website's easy to use there's like a social media sharing aspect to it and um, you can produce high-res images they've actually got a discord that you can join and you can share art around and maybe request generation stuff like that but uh, yeah you get a lot of uh, really nice images from this some of them actually are pretty competitive like this one right here would probably compete with Midjourney. However, I still think Midjourney is better than this model, even though they actually share quite a lot of similarities and stuff like that. So this is Night Cafe, and in my opinion, it is uh, on the bottom of the list, even though it's still quite good. Now moving on to Crayon, formerly Dolly Mini. Basically, they had to change their name. The creator of Dolly Mini is not in any way associated with OpenAI or Dolly 2. So OpenAI basically forced them to change the name. This is next up on the list, a very fast model easy to use model, simple model, and it works pretty darn well. And I've noticed with Crayon that it's consistently improving, consistently being updated, and one day this could very well be a very competitive model, but this one doesn't really have many content filters, nudity, stuff like that is definitely not allowed, but you can definitely generate some pretty uh, tasteless things if that's uh, what you so desire to create, and I know a lot of you are interested in that stuff. You absolute Discord mods. However, Crayon notoriously has really long wait times and issues with getting people into its servers, 
uh, due to its explosion in popularity with creators like Markiplier using them in videos and stuff like that. So this one is one that you might want to skip for the time being just because of, oh, actually it worked this time. Well, yeah, so this is Lemon Man apparently. But yeah, I mean, pretty decent coherency for what it is. Sometimes you'll get some really good generations out of it, and uh, yeah, you can pretty much generate whatever you want. There's not a lot of limitations with it. Now we're moving on through the list to Latent Diffusion, completely free to use, and of course, all these links are down in the description below if you haven't found that out already. This is one of those rare cases where this AI is actually better than pretty much every other AI, except for probably Google Image and Party on the list, at creating text. This AI, for whatever reason, I mean, it's a pretty coherent model, competes with Crayon, I would say it's a little bit better than Crayon, but for whatever reason, it is extremely, extremely good at generating text. It actually does take a pretty decent amount of time to generate. It's not too bad, though. It probably is similar to the wait time with Crayon. Oh, wow, that was actually quite a bit faster, but yeah, as you guys can see, for the size of the model, it is extremely good at text. More coherent than Dolly 2 at text, somehow, right? Um, but yeah, you can generate all sorts of great stuff. It does uh, art for like magazine covers or comic book art or stuff like that really well. And it's generally pretty coherent overall. Potential NSFW content was detected on my outputs. This was just simply a, a lemon wearing sunglasses gardening. Yes, Latin Diffusion does have an NSFW filter on it. I would consider this more strict than Crayon, but still it's a... Uh, a little bit more loose than something like Dolly 2. I think this was just an error. All right, folks, now we are moving swiftly on to Doll E Flow, which is next in our list. Now, this is a model that can only be ran in Google Collab, essentially, if you guys want to use it yourself. I'll link it down below. This produces images that are really um, highly upscaled, similar to Doll E 2. It's completely free, though, and it does take a good two minutes or so to get an image, but it's more coherent. It's, it's sort of like crayon if it was more high resolution and a little bit more coherent. Basically, what we do is we open up this Google Collab notebook, which you can see right here. And what we do is we go through all of these command lines one by one, and we click this run button here on the side. So we start with this one, move on to this one, move on to this one, move on to this one, and so on. And you can, of course, edit the prompt right in here and yeah eventually you will end up with an image of pretty high resolution this is dolly 2 sized uh resolution of images so yeah this is basically like the better version of crayon and i'm not sure about content filters with this one but i'm pretty sure there's basically no content filter at all as you can see you can get some pretty decent generations out of this program these are some cookies that i generated there's some banana monster i made chicken riding a skateboard really not too bad for this one to be honest this is like mid-journey level quality this is probably my favorite generation this is like a picture of a diamond but i really like the nice leather that's below it in general really coherent really good model now coming up next on our list we're looking at mind's eye beta by multimodal art a lot of you guys actually told me to check this one out i didn't really know about it prior so that's why it's on the list now now this one sort of starts out in google collab but quickly defers into its own separate thing so you're really not messing around with google collab here basically all we do is open up this Google Collab notebook, hold down the control key, then we press F9, and then we run basically the, the whole thing. Now it takes a little bit to boot up, but basically you get put into a different website, which is like an entire interface. And there are quite a lot in there, including Latent Diffusion and VQGAN and different upscaling methods and stuff you can switch around and play with. And plus you can also run this one locally, which is really nice if you've got a powerful enough computer. So this is just a really great basic option and it has a really nice interface as well. All right, folks, now we're moving on to number four on the list, which is Midjourney, of course. And as of today, the day that I am posting this video, Midjourney is now out of closed beta and into a completely free open beta with a free trial and then after that paid access. As you can see earlier today in my Discord channel, we were actually talking about this, literally just happened today. By the way guys, if you didn't know, I do have a Discord channel, you can join it with the link down in the description below. You can actually suggest prompts to get generated in Midjourney or Dolly 2 or whatever, suggest video ideas and just generally chat with the community and it's been really awesome, so I recommend joining it. Lots of really great stuff. Anyways folks, here is the Midjourney Discord. This is where all of the generations will happen in Midjourney. Well, you can open up a personal DM with the Midjourney bot once you actually have a subscription, but as you can see in any of these uh, 
general image generations we can see people just generating all sorts of images and this is basically where your free trial will happen once you actually join Midjourney. but they have really good support they have a whole discussion area and now that it's completely open beta anyone can join this discord and get access and I will actually show you guys how generating sort of works with Midjourney. Basically, this is my personal DM with the Midjourney bot. What I will do is type slash imagine. And once I type that, you'll see this little prompt area pop up. And I can type whatever I want in as long as it's, you know, PG-13, nothing too crazy. The crazy stuff actually comes with the next AI, Shonenkov AI. I can actually change the aspect ratio as well by doing a double dash and then typing aspect. And then I can say, you know, 16 by 9. And there's a few other little commands like this that you can throw in to change things up. You can weight different words and you can actually generate variations of images as well with Midjourney, but that's a little bit more complicated. But anyways, I just hit enter after that and it will generate four images for me, as you can see up here. This is really cool and something that I wish Dolly 2 would do is it shows you as it sort of generates. Now, once it generates, I can either pick to either upscale an image or generate variations based off of that. And you just do that by clicking any of these buttons down below. Now, when you join Midjourney, you'll also gain access to the Midjourney website, which has plentiful options for you to mess around with different things. So we've got the basic community feed here where you can see hot posts or rising posts, anything like that. Lots of really cool stuff uh, to see in this and a lot of really, really great generations. And you can even see each prompt and copy it for yourself or make changes to the prompts and stuff. So really awesome. As you can see, you can actually do weaponry, which is something you definitely can't do in Dolly 2. So there's less restrictions than Dolly 2, but still, you know, nothing that's really too crazy. And you can also bookmark different stuff, see a personal feed, you can follow different users. There's also this new map, which sort of shows you in relation to other users, which is really crazy. And you can sort of pick on their profiles and pick on their generations and see what they're generating. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool little feature. You can really find interesting different generations uh, through this crazy map feature. And as you guys can see, you can also manage your subscription here, either the $10 or the $30 subscription. And you can actually see right here, all of the different benefits to each. Now, moving on to number three, Shonen Kov AI. Yes, this one is above Midjourney in this tier list. This is a 12 billion parameter model. Dolly 2 is only 3.5 billion, so we'd expect it to be better, but actually it's a little less efficient than Dolly 2, so it's not really as good, but this is an extremely coherent model. It can produce images that are indistinguishable from something that would be taken on a camera, and there is no content filter at all. Nothing. You can generate anything you want. Uh, however, it does have to be translated into Russian before you generate it, and it's all generated through Discord. And as I presume, I think this is actually in completely open beta. I will do my best to link it down below, but it's in Discord just like Midjourney. If you're having trouble getting into Shonen Kav AI, just pop into my Discord and either me or some viewers will help you get into the Discord. So folks, here it is. Here is the insane Shonen Kav AI. Yeah, you can just tell by these images how powerful this AI actually is. You get a nice 4x4 grid for every every prompt of images. You can even take one of these images and upscale it if you so desire. Um, yeah, it is it is Russian, as you can see. Everything is basically generated from Russian, so I would consider translating whatever text you want in Google Translate and then dumping it in here or translating it in maybe an AI translator that's a little bit better. But this has a ton of training data and it produces really coherent results with pretty much no limitations. This one's a ton of fun to mess around with. And you get about something like 10 prompts per day, so really not too bad, completely free to use. Pretty crazy model to say nonetheless, and I do think it is more coherent than Midjourney. It's got a ton of training. I mean, it's got more training than Dolly too, so it's definitely a pretty wild model with just so many different possibilities. Like, for example, these cacti, pretty much indistinguishable from photos half of the time. Anyways, moving on from Shonen Kov, we'll talk about the last one that I have access to, which is Dolly 2. Most of you watching probably don't have Dolly 2 access, although public access reportedly is coming pretty soon. I've spoken to an OpenAI team member and they say right now they are all working on pricing for Dolly 2 and that's sort of why it's not publicly released yet, but they do plan to publicly release Dolly 2 soon. And especially now that Shonen Kov AI is around and Midjourney is finally out of private beta, OpenAI really has to start working on getting Dolly 2 
sort of out to the public because these two, you know, with a few updates could totally take over Dolly 2. Anyways, you guys all know Dolly 2. It's seen right now, at least, as the holy grail of, you know, AI that the public can access, and it produces absolutely incredible results. I've been covering it on my channel for weeks now, and you guys, at least I hope, are really enjoying the videos, which is great to see. But yeah, this one is tons of fun, lots of different features. We all know about Dolly 2. And finally, Google Party, the, the beast in the room. This AI is absolutely insane. This is sort of a layout of how it works, but it's a really fast and efficient model, and it's absolutely huge, going all the way up to 20 billion parameters. You can see that its efficiency is actually very similar to Dolly 2's, because the way that it can generate text is actually very similar at around the same parameters as Dolly 2, and actually it's probably a little bit more efficient than Dolly 2, to be honest. But as you can see, at 20 billion parameters, we get clear find perfect text and good images almost every time. There's almost never a fallacy here with this. 20 billion parameters really seems to be at infallible images, high resolution, uh, pretty much anything you want to generate. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just absolutely insane. As you can see, the back of a violin, you know, is even a struggle at the 3 billion parameter mark, again, similar to Dolly 2. But at 20 billion parameters, not a problem. So yeah, we never know if this will be released by Google. They don't really talk about it much. We don't really get a lot of information, but we know it's really good. We know it's probably the best model. Definitely competes with Dolly 2. Probably better than Dolly 2, to be honest, at 20 billion parameters. And uh, yeah, it's just absolutely insane. And they still do say it has some limitations, but I mean, honestly, at this point, we're talking about the best of the best. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to pop into that description below and uh, check out any of these as you please. And, you know, while you're down there, make sure to leave this video a like if it actually helped you out and was useful. I'm Evidue Productions. Please check out some of my other content. Lots of really amazing stuff going on in the AI space as of late. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.